Good afternoon, YouTube. This is Kayleen String coming at you with uh, the last ration review of this month. Yeah, I've got silver rations that uh, I got, I ordered two and uh, to review, and I ended up getting a third and a fourth one. I'm just not going to review. I'm just, I got that for the contents to split up. But anyway, what I have here is a Lithuanian ration menu 2 I got it from foreignmre.com and uh, I will leave the link to uh, their website as well as their YouTube channel down below so you can go uh, check them out but this is a, a chicken with rice I am assuming it's going to be like a kasha type dish And I'm going to do a little something different with it. If there are the special biscuits, sometimes called tank treads, panzer waffles. I am going to save those as a gift for someone. And I will substitute these uh, French cereal biscuits. And I'm going to be using the foreignamory.com spork. And my foreignmre.com mug. And I have my old favorite drinking jar. And uh, this has a tear notch at the top, but those are a little bit uh, cumbersome to deal with. So I'm going to get uh, this little goodie right here. I'm just going to. cut into it. These Lithuanian rations have uh, heaters and they are known for their uh, potency. So first off is an accessory pack which I will open up in a bit. Here is another accessory pack. That I'll open up in a bit. A bag of uh, hazelnuts. Now this is, uh, let's see the weight. I can't find a weight on this, but I think it's like 50 grams or something like that. So, uh, nice generous portion of hazelnuts. And yes, we do have the special biscuits. There are four of them. And uh, I will save these for uh, a special gift for someone. And like I said, I will substitute these uh, cereal biscuits for those. And then we have the Lithuanian uh, foldable heater plate, which is a lot thinner than the Spanish ones. Or the French ones. But in a pinch, if you needed to uh, do something like that, you can still do it. It's just that uh, you wouldn't be able to use this one as frequently. Of course, I will not be using that because I'm obviously doing this in indoors. And the uh, last thing out of the bag. is uh, the main which is in this box I cut the tape to get it uh, open so 
So here is the main entree, which is the chicken and rice. It feels pretty dense in there. This is a 240 gram couch. And here is the ration heater with the set of instructions. And nice big pad. It's almost double the size of a pad in a US ration heater. And it has a piece of tape. So now I'm going to open up the accessory packs, which are in a, a Ziploc bags. Very handy. So you have the spoon, which I will not be using because I'll be using the foreignamwork.com spork. And my fuel tablets just went to escape. So I have these uh, fuel tablets. have uh, the refreshing towel lemon scent and a box of blue tip matches you can never have too many matches of course I won't be using them today and then the other accessory pack is also in a ziploc bag have the Ruta chocolate, which is actually two bars in this pack. I can feel that they're separated. Ruta is very delicious chocolate. This is a packet of uh, Honey. Very good to go with the biscuits, or if you have tea, you can sweeten your tea with it. Another little in uh, info sheet. We have an instant coffee. But no creamer or, sh let's see, we have a 12 gram packet of sugar, and that is a crap ton of sugar. And then this is it's a 30 gram packet of Orange flavor instant drink. And it feels quite dense in there. So what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just in case I needed it, I have these, uh, these uh, foam bags that came with it. one of the Chinese rations that I reviewed last year. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get uh, this heater going. That turn off this crap. Well, I will just have to cheat. Always good to keep the knife handy because you never know when uh, when a packet may not want to open. So the fill line is right here, and. Uh,
I put out, I brought out some salt just in case it needed some help. I'm not sure if it will, but uh, there's a piece of tape here that I will fold over. I got my uh, water here. I'm going to go ahead and put water in there. slide the pouch in like that. giving it a good shake to make sure that the element gets saturated. And I'm going to go ahead and stuff this back in the box. Sometimes these heaters it may take a while to kick off. Oh, it's kicking off now. I can feel it. I hope you can hear that noise. Yeah, it's starting to kick off. So what I will do, I will wait several minutes for... Uh, the ration heater to do its thing and then I will uh, mix the the drinks and uh, open up the rest so uh, catch you in a few okay I am back my uh, coffee maker just finished heating up the water so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, go ahead and uh, Mix up the coffee. Nope, I don't think I ripped off enough of the sugar pack or the coffee packet. It's a dark, uh, just like a freeze-dried uh, coffee, pretty fine powder. there. It mixes really well. Now as you, I changed to this measuring cup because the, the orange drink calls for uh, 600 mills of water and that will that will fill this thing quite full so that's why I chose to switch to it nice uh, loose powder
not quite as much water as it called for. That just pretty much emptied the bottle, but that's okay. So I'll go ahead and mix this up. Kind of looks like most artificial orange drinks. It is a vitamin C enhanced. And it's mixing pretty well. There's still a little bit of, of uh, powder at the bottom, but I think as it sits a little bit, it'll completely dissolve. I will set that back here. And that pretty much emptied the bottle. I used some of that water in the ration heater. I'm going to move my uh, coffee back there. Now I'm going to uh, open up the chocolate bars. And I'm going to put them right here. See, they say uh, Ruta on them. Not very much blooming at all. And then I will uh, open up the, the hazelnuts. That looks like I'm going to have to cheat again. the hazelnuts. All the trash is going back into the, the bag that the ration is in. I'm going to open up these uh, biscuits. And I'm substituting these French cereal biscuits for the special biscuits, the Panzer Waffles, because those are going to be a gift for someone. So they, and these are the French cereal biscuits. Here is the honey, nice and clear. I'll just set that off to the side right here beside the tray. Now I'm going to go ahead and take this out of the box. This thing is extremely hot. And because of the way I did it, uh, the, the tape did not explode or did not pop off because of the way I had it in a box. But it, as you can see, it puffed up quite a bit. This bag sealed itself. I have a towel over here that I'm going to uh, gonna just kind of dry this off. my uh, Chinese uh, heater bag to the side. I'm just drying it off. Let's see. 
There is no tear notch, so I'm going to have to create one. And here we go. Just making sure everything is out of there. Even the label started to uh, separate from the pouch. deal with that later and here we are this is it looks very very dark but I can see carrots actually this looks more like beef than chicken but I can see the rice actually this may not be chicken and rice at all I might have to uh, I have to look on the website to see what it is, so. I thought it was chicken and rice, but uh, I'm going to double check. No, I was wrong. It was beef with grits. That's why it looks dark. So it's beef with grits. So I apologize for that. I kept thinking it was uh, chicken, but it's beef with grits. So uh, the grits are round. Give us a taste. The beef is like shredded, but it's bigger pieces, but it's almost like a pulled beef. The grits are quite soft. See, there is a, a carrot. The sauce tastes like a typical beef stew sauce. There is a big spoonful of the grits. There's some uh, onion in there. But the grits are quite soft and it's a bigger size piece than what I'm used to with the grits here in the U.S. Uh, here is uh, just a chunk of the meat, the beef. It's finely minced, almost like hamburger meat, but it's still pretty good. There are no seasonings. No extra, no salt and pepper, but uh, personally, I don't think it needs it. Wouldn't mind seeing a few more carrots, though. Oops, the tray's moving, but uh, I wouldn't mind seeing a few more carrots. But it's still good, so... This is going to be an enjoyable dinner. I'm going to pick up some of these hazelnuts. I'm 
They're not salted. but they still got their crunch. They do not taste roasted. They're just plain uh, hazelnuts, but still they're good. This, look at that honey. It was very good honey and it goes well with these uh, French cereal biscuits. I'm going to go ahead and uh, give this uh, orange drink another stir just to make sure it's uh, all dissolved and it looks pretty clear. There's not a whole lot of flavor to it even though I didn't use 600 mils. I basically had it up to uh, about 500 mils so that's what I started with pretty much I'm gonna taste this uh, coffee I'm drinking this coffee plain I usually like my coffee with creamer and sugar but uh, I didn't want to open that 12 gram sugar packet just to put a little in the coffee that's just a nice Nice typical instant coffee. Not too bitter. And now for the best part. This uh, Ruta chocolate. Good bite. Nice firm chocolate. Very nice dark chocolate flavor, not, and it doesn't taste at all like milk chocolate. If you get the chance to get a Ruta chocolate bar, even if you have to buy a whole Lithuanian ration to get it, do so because it is good chocolate. It's one of, it's a lot better than most of the American dark chocolates. I suppose if I wanted to, I could put some of this in my coffee, but uh, I'm just going to enjoy this plain like, like it is. So I think that will do for this review. This has been uh, Lithuanian Ration Menu 2. I got this from foreignmre.com. Again, I will put the link to their website and their YouTube channel down there so you can go check them out. Earlier today they posted, or Art posted a video of uh, him reviewing an American ration known as MORE, uh, Modular Operational Ration Enhancement. So it's like an additional pack to go along with the standard MRE or First Strike ration or uh, meal cold weather or something like that but uh, so he reviewed that so I will go ahead and process this video and get it to uh, I'll just set it to upload overnight because the way my internet is it takes a coon's age for my videos to upload so uh, and you'll see this uh, uh, you'll be seeing this on Friday but uh, of course my review is on Thursday so again, thanks for watching and catch you on the flip side.